Cause you about to be an ATL ATL. Anyway, um, what was I gonna say? Oh, the last live I did, I was talking about the Atlanta mayoral race. <sighs> a lot of y'all are not even in Atlanta because I know I'm worldwide. I'm worldwide. So a lot of y'all aren't even in Atlanta and don't even know the things that are going on up here in the Atlanta. Okay. But <sighs> the whole situation with Felicia Moore and Andre Dickens and Kasim Reed and whoever else was running, we don't even know who, who else was running. Yeah. We talked about that. You know, we talked about that last week and I told y'all what the deal was. I told y'all all the situation about Sabrina Peterson and how she had made her press tour, you know, before back in January. I did a whole video back in January called Sabrina Peterson's Political Ambitions. And I talked about how, you know, she was doing this because she was pissed off that T.I. was getting involved in politics. Y'all don't remember when I did that? Put a one in the chat if y'all remember when I did that. So I, I, you know, I spilled a whole bunch of Atlanta tea. That, you know, a lot of people outside of Atlanta don't know. And I told y'all, I said, y'all watch, you know, all these lies and shit. They, they doing to the T.I. See, I'm not even a T.I. fan like that. I'm not team T.I. by any stretch of the imagination. And I don't feel like, you know, you know, them doing threesomes and foursomes and everything else they doing. Like I am not, you know, my thing is marriage is sacred. I don't, I don't agree to it, but I do agree with everybody who are in, um, a marriage, you know, they can do what they want to do is they marriage. If they agree to it, they agree to it. But um, yeah, you know, they try, you know, to 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 use the court of public opinion to take TI down. And in doing so, they tried to accuse that man of trafficking, of uh of uh, uh, uh providing drugs or drugging people against their will, of all kind of things. But where the people at that that accused him of doing it? Why is it that everybody who was accusing him of doing it? was going through this one person who happened to be Sabrina Peterson, who happened to be pro Felicia Moore, who happened to want to take down Keisha Lance Bottoms at the time. This was before Keisha Lance Bottoms had decided she didn't want to run. Anyway, uh, Felicia Moore, now that she has lost, I know y'all had saw it. Y'all saw that uh, Felicia Moore has gone on uh, TMZ. Child, Felicia Moore went on TMZ and told the whole world. I don't even know who called TMZ for her, child. It's like, girl, do you have TMZ number? How do you get TMZ phone number? She went to TMZ and she told TMZ that it was all T.I. fault that she lost the election. It was all T.I. and Isaac Hayes. Isaac Hayes the third, who was Isaac Hayes son. Now Isaac Hayes the third went hard too. I told y'all about that too. We was talking about how Isaac Hayes was going hard, and it was actually Sabrina Peterson who went up in Isaac Hayes DMs on his Instagram, and they was going back and forth. And then they was it was Ti got involved. It was all of this was going around. I'm gonna play it, Claudette. I'm gonna play it. This video is being played under the copyright disclaimer under section 107 of the Copyright Act. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching scholarship, and research. Okay, this is we are researching, we are commenting, and we are news reporting. Okay, there you have it. Shout out to D TMZ. Now let's listen to what she had to say. This Isaac Hayes, which somehow has some obsession with me, uh, and now T.I., both of them uh, went after me about that when I started to run for mayor. They went after me about it, Isaac, before, but then they, they can't surface back up. And this was a few months ago. And they lied then, saying that I was saying Remember, I wanted to ago. close all recording studios. The legislation would have never closed anything. Uh, it would only be for new ones. And T.I. puts out a very <laughs> salacious lie, just point blank lie and misinformation saying that I wanted to close strip clubs. I've never even discussed strip clubs since the general election. That's never come up in any of the election thing. But they put that out there because they have a large following. It went viral. Uh, got that and it took a while for some, for people to start to get the message that I never said I wanted to close that. Then they just made up stuff. And it's just sad that, you know, good people try to run to serve because they have a heart for the your people in the city. And, move on. and they get torn down by misinformation and used by celebrities. Um, and their influence and social media it. reach uh, to slander 
uh, someone's name and lie. It's ongoing stream of lies and information by um, Wait, Isaac here go the Hayes catcher. III in particular. I think he has some obsession with tearing me down. I feel sorry for the karma he will receive in life. And uh, Mr. T.I., who I would have thought should have learned his lesson from jumping on me when I was running earlier because that it got him in a fight with someone else that Who? opened up the whole series of allegations that he has in front of him. What? So he should learn to stay out of politics. Ooh, he should have learned his lesson because it got him in a fight with somebody else. <laughs> Is she telling on herself? <sighs> now, before y'all be dragging the lady, before y'all be dragging the lady, listen, I don't mind y'all saying bye, Felicia. I told y'all this before. I don't care about the whole bye, Felicia thing, but I don't like when people call the lady Florida Evans. I think it's 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 the key. It's a key key. It's funny. Okay. It's yeah, we tickled or whatever. But I just don't like it because you got your mamas, your aunties, your cousins, your sisters look just like this woman. Why drag her for her looks? That is misogyny at its finest. Okay. Y'all calling her Sherman Clump and all that. That is misogyny at its finest. Y'all not dragging the, the white lady who lost. Y'all not dragging the other black. Y'all not dragging Kasim Reed, call him Gary Coleman or whatever. Why is it that y'all got to drag the lady? You don't think that's wrong? I don't think they're dragging the lady. I think they're dragging the poor loser. They're dragging a sore loser, but you're not. Got, but here's the thing: you don't have to drag her for her looks. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, That's right. where it comes in because the only the only time they drag people for their looks is when it's female. They don't do that for men. They not go drag you for your looks, Carl. Yeah, they but, may call you stupid. They may say you're a sore loser. They may say you know take your L or whatever. They not gonna say you you short fat whatever. They not go. They that, not gonna but, do that. But, Mm -hmm. that's the point i'm making it's more about the looks for a female that's misogyny you don't think there's a double standard there females don't emphasize looks y'all the the public emphasizes the look they dragging the ladies hair they dragging her fro they dragging her nose they calling her florida evans they you know yeah whatever yeah, okay yeah. Uh, okay but anyway i digress because i'm digressing i already told y'all about this you said it's the small natural is that what it is y'all so wrong we are dragging the white lady too y'all did not drag that white lady that y'all did not call that white lady miley cyrus or whatever uh, talk about her stringy hair or whatever say she smelled like a wet dog y'all did not do that to the white lady y'all dragging the black lady i don't like it okay i don't like it but you know the bye felicia that's cute but anyway i digress but what i don't like i feel like you know she told on herself when she went to tmz and she said you know ti needs to make sure you know he deal with them allegations or whatever whatever because my thing is also did you have something to do with those allegations you know, because we always question those allegations. Because I question Sabrina Peterson. Everybody in Atlanta questions Sabrina Peterson because we know she ain't about shit. Yeah, she don't even live in Atlanta. But she want to be so involved in Atlanta politics. She want to all of a sudden, she was up under Kasim Reed. Now she up under Felicia Moore. Like, girl, pick a struggle. Pick a, pick a side. But anyway, T.I. Uh, clap back, honey. T.I. clap. We're going to listen to what T.I. has said. Hold on. T.I. told the girls everybody else he was like um yeah felicia uh i sat there and i took my licks i did not say nothing if you remember ti lost his bh1 show he lost his uh appearance on what was it ant-man or one of the the marvel comics films that he was supposed to appear in he lost his role on that ti lost money and i would hope that uh ti you know looks into this and starts suing some people because, yeah, I, I just don't like people to be lied on. So here is what uh, T.I. had to say in response to this. Let's listen to this for a second. Uh, Hold on. Quite the morning we're having today. I think I'm going to need two. I'm going to need two, uh, two tea bags for this. I mean... <laughs> Man, 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 man. Hey. <laughs> so, 
so um I, I, you know some just some just he has to get out of bed early today you know because I, I usually don't get up to about 9 30 you know what i'm saying my old lady she trying to keep it's only like 10 minutes 10 30 11 but i usually get up about 9 30 but some said today man get up it was about self get up just get up so i did i'm sorry joy and the first thing i see is tmz and miss felicia moore saying that uh <laughs> that me and Isaac Hayes the third cost her the election due to misinformation. Right. Um first thing how can she totally negate all like everything that happened outside of okay if if you're saying you didn't really plan to shut down the strip clubs. Whatever. That's old news, ma'am. It's over. It's over. It's over with, man. Um, whether you want to shut down strip clubs, studios, hookah balls, whatever it is, ma'am, what you did was you lost sight of one thing. This culture, the creatives in this city, we run this town. We do. We run and we need town. someone in the, and the citizens of a city make the decisions of who should lead that city. All right. Um, now, I got a chance to watch the video. And another thing that I, that was interesting. Hmm. Another thing that was interesting was she say uh, that celebrities shouldn't even be involved in politics. That sounds eerily similar to. Hey, how you doing? Hey, buddy. All right, top of the top to you. Y'all almost finished? Yes. Oh. I'm finished uh, today's gig and I'm the best. Okay, okay. Yeah. All right, I'll check on you in a minute. Um. Anyway. Another thing that was, so that sounds eerily similar to uh, when, when people say, say it to LeBron to shut up and dribble. Right? You see, it's that very energy is the spirit of that, the tone of that is the reason why you aren't fit to sit in the seat of the mayor of Atlanta. You don't understand. You don't understand. You did. We run this town. All of the business that comes to this city, all of the people who decide to move to this city, the tourism dollars, all of that comes from our culture. We were here First, anyone who doesn't acknowledge that or who, who can't hold that in high regard is not fit to sit in the seat of the mayor of Atlanta. Now, I wish her the best and I hope she finds a position that she's better suited for, but it was not this. It simply was not. You were out of touch. You do not understand. You can't come into a city that was built by a, a host of creatives and, 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 and say that, you know, and expect to run that city and don't think that these creatives will get involved. Ma'am. Ma'am. 
Ma'am. You're intelligent enough to know better than that, ma'am. Uh, ma'am. That's just uh, a- another thing that was interesting. Another thing that was interesting about her video that's on TMZ.com. You can go get it. It ain't, you know, it ain't nothing. It ain't nothing that uh, I'm making up just to make sure that my facts are correct this time. Um, at the end of your video, what you said was T.I. should have learned his lesson about interfering in politics because earlier this year, he said something about me and my plans to, I'm going to say shut the studio down because that's what I see it as, to shut the studio down. After I, after I posted that, uh, he got into a back and forth with someone else, and that's what caused all of his allegations that he's facing. Sabrina Peterson. Now, you see, I always had, I knew that all that bullshit happened because y'all didn't want me to be involved in this particular election. And it almost worked because after it was over with, I said, I was done, bro. I said, man, I'm done. I ain't want to do it. I ain't even want to get involved. You know what I mean? And if you notice, I didn't get involved until the very end. But, ma'am, exactly what were fake, false allegations supposed to teach me, ma'am? Mm-hmm. When y'all lied on me, I didn't call TMZ and go crying about it. I rolled my I rolled my ride out. I took mine. I carried my weight. Cause that's what I do. You know what I mean? I didn't go nowhere and say, look at what they doing to me. Come on, bruh. But I just want y'all to see that because I knew, I knew, I just I wasn't armed with the information that I needed. But I'm going to tell you something. When I made that post, I reposted what Isaac Hayes posted about her, the legislation that would have issued, made people get permits to have studios. I posted that and I, with a message in my caption that says, um, the creatives run this town and you got to consider us and you need to respect that we run this town. After I posted that message, after I made that post, the very next day, that woman who is a clear supporter of Felicia Moore, all through the campaign, even before the she announced that she was running, clear supporter of Felicia Moore. That's when she came out the very next day with all that bullshit. Yep. And if Felicia Moore had nothing to do with it. How would she know about it? Yup. If she had nothing to do with it, if it wasn't on her radar, why would she mention it in her own video? So now she is she suggesting, oh, we're going to we're going to do it again. So if 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 any at the blue allegations just happen to come up now. <laughs> so this is, I mean. I'm a chess player, ma'am. I always say the truth don't need no help. Truth I'm always comes player, to light. I, I, I ain't, uh, I'm not into, you know, just talking for no reason. I, I ain't into that. I think um, what would have been the gracious what would have been the thing to do of integrity was to get on there and congratulate Andre Dickens on a well-ran campaign because he exactly. really was, he, he, he got out there and got to the people more than you. And he did. He dealt with and addressed the concerns of the people in the streets. He knocked on doors. You, 
you did not show up to the only debate that was in Southwest Atlanta. Ma'am. Which showed that you only care about the north side of town. You Ooh. think people are so dumb and blind that they can't see through this rhetoric? It's easy to just say it was because of the strip club. That's easy. But what about the fact that you served on city council for 24 years and not one of your fellow council members supported you? Not I don't one, bro. I, in 24 that's, years? That's a big deal. You don't think so? Yeah. Mm. So, but I do, I do wish the best for her you know uh, and i hope she finds a, a position somewhere that she's better suited for but this ain't it um but i just really found the end of that video very very interesting y'all should go watch it when you get a chance check it out and another thing God's plan for God's child is indestructible. You understand me? I ain't worried about none of that nonsense. I don't care. I ain't scared of no ghosts. <laughs> I ain't studying none of that nonsense, man. You gonna have to come with something real to destroy something real. The fake shit won't work. The fake shit won't work. I'm God's child. Okay. I'm God's child. And I'm uh, operating within God's plan. There is nothing that you or anyone like you can do to hurt, harm, dismantle, or destroy God's plan. All right? So with that being said, I hope everybody have a peaceful, productive, profitable day. And um, focus on something real, man. Stay sucker free. Get the bullshit out your system. All right. Long live Pimp C, as he would say. Get off the boo-boo, man. <laughs> <sighs> It's a whole listen. I told y'all that Sabrina that Sabrina Peterson shit wasn't about nothing. Cause Sabrina is oh, she is file, she is low, she is guttural. Like everything that she was talking about, it was like she had an agenda and it was evident. And my thing is, I was basing my opinion based off my personal interactions with Sabrina Peterson because she been lied on me before. So I'm like, she done lied on me before. I know she done lied on him. So yes, isn't that crazy? Isn't that crazy how the um the truth uh eventually comes to light? What y'all think? I know y'all not in Atlanta, but it's not about strip clubs. It was absolutely positively not about strip clubs. Social media made it about strip clubs and about the the um the um studios and all of that. But it was not. And it's crazy because all of the people who voted for Andre Dickinson, it, it, Dickens, it had nothing to do with T.I. Isaac Hayes. So it's like she looking at the small picture. <laughs> she looking at the small box as if, you know, these two people really, really had a hand in it. And like I always tell y'all about social media, media, people with like millions of followers, those millions of followers aren't necessarily all in Atlanta. They all over the world, all over the country, all over everywhere. So that had nothing, absolutely positively nothing to do with this Atlanta mayoral race. Um, another thing I want to play this really quickly. 
Uh, Kasim Reed, who was also a former mayor of Atlanta, uh, spoke out about the situation as well. And uh, Kasim Reed said, listen, um, uh, strip clubs had nothing to do with uh, Felicia losing. Uh, she didn't have the support of the Atlanta City Council. She didn't have the support of Atlanta. She didn't have the support of Atlanta, um, the Atlanta population. So she wasn't going to win anyway. So if the former mayor, mayor who was also running, who lost <laughs> to Andre Dickinson, Dickens, I'm sorry, Andre, I'm so sorry, I keep calling you Andre Dickinson, but who lost to Andre Dickinson, he also has something to say about it. And if he can lose gracefully, why can't Felicia Moore lose gracefully? Why couldn't she have just got on TMZ and said he ran a great race? T.I., if, if she going to give T.I. and Isaac Hayes credit, the only credit she needs to give them is that they went out, they they walked the street, they canvassed the street, they got people who couldn't get to the polls, to the polls, and they got them to vote. So, there's that. Y'all know I don't be talking about politics, but this right here tickled my fancy. I was like, I know they did. I know she did. Hold on. I'm going to play what Kasim Reed has said. Hold on. What former mayor Kasim Reed has said. Hold on. He said, bye, Felicia, too, child. Hold on. Let's see what he said. Of course you cannot cancel oh, time. Can't. Why I got the Carver Jones on here? That ain't what I said. Hold on. Let me refresh this. Hold on, all over the place. I think I had played the damn video. Too. Oh, there it is right there. Okay, here it is. The blame is on you. That's what Kasim Reed said. The blame is on you. Hold on. Let me play this commercial, child. <sighs> Do, 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 do. What they saying in the chat? She probably ain't qualified anyway. Did she even acknowledge her staff? Right. While I'm letting this load up, how about uh, Felicia Moore asking for some money for her failed campaign? She is on on Twitter and Instagram right now asking y'all, asking the city of Atlanta for $18. <laughs> Why 18? I don't even know. Why you pick 18? Why you didn't just choose like a rounded up to 20? She asking the people for $18. She said, and I quote, hold on, I'm going to pay. I'll never forget the movement we built together and we left it all on the field. I need your help one last time to retire our outstanding campaign debt. Can you chip in $18? <laughs> that ain't funny. <laughs> Felicia Moore want eighteen dollars. I ain't giving her eighteen dollars. I ain't give her eighteen dollars to run. Why I'm giving her eighteen dollars to lose? Does that make sense? <sighs> I know I've been talking about thirty five minutes, but I said I don't need to talk about politics. But I'm talking about today. Look at this. I'll never forget the movement. Can you chip in eighteen dollars to help? What we helping? You done lost. You was gone. Why we got to give you eighteen dollars? Car, you gonna get eighteen dollars? Uh, but what does she ask? What is the eighteen dollars gonna do? Do you know? I don't understand where the eighteen dollars is coming from either. But let's listen to what Cassine Reed got to say real quick. It's sixteen hundred of y'all in here. Y'all is snuck in here. It's sixteen hundred of y'all in here. Go ahead and like this video. As y'all come in, we're going to see what Kasim had to say. Our former mayor, Kasim Reed, who was trying to run, who didn't win either. And shout out to Kasim, to Kasim, because they caught him at the airport. Let's see what they said. Doing all right, you okay today? I'm doing very well, thank you. So we did a story, TMZ did a story that um, Felicia Moore is saying that T.I. and Isaac Hayes tanked her campaign, and in part it led to her defeat. Um, with a fake news story about how supposedly she wanted to close all strip clubs, which wasn't true. It wasn't true. How oh, Lord. The, voters, uh, the election wasn't even close. The margin was so great. Um, but T.I.'s voice is important, and so is Isaac Hayes' voice. But at the end of the day, I think the voters picked who they wanted to be the next mayor. And congratulations to Councilmember Dickens on his win. So you don't think that them sort of disseminating this false information in any way led to uh, lack of voters turning out for Felicia? It didn't lead to a 20% margin. Right. Yeah. I mean, it, it was a 60-40 race. So I think this might be a little more relevant in a closer election, but 60-40 turn the page and move on. Do celebrities have a lot of sway in Atlanta, more so maybe than 
60 40. California, it seems like to not matter as much. You know, in Atlanta, they're an important part of our culture, an integrated part of our community. And so I think that their voices matter. Uh, Chia's voice certainly matters. Uh, Isaac Hayes' voices matters. But it really blends in. Uh, celebrities and creatives really blend in to our community uh, in a dynamic way, and their voices certainly matter. And last thing, how important are strip clubs to Atlanta? Um, I mean, they're, they're an important part of the economy as well. We host, uh, we're in the top five most visited cities in the United States of America. So uh, having a dynamic nightlife is important, and that's a part of it. Strip clubs are important to the nightlife of any community, especially like Atlanta is one of them. You know, we we, we they, they earn a lot of money at strip clubs in Atlanta. Okay, but that was not a topic of conversation. That is not why nobody voted for Andre. <sighs> but you know, he he exactly, Miss Georgia Peach. He he did what Felicia Moore should have done. He he gave the winner props. He gave his political answer. He said what he had to say and he moved on. Listen, it's like scandal up here, child. We is like, <laughs> we all getting our life because when you add T.I. and you add Isaac Hayes and you add Felicia Moore and all of this drama and this lady going to TMZ to accuse T.I. Uh, T. and Isaac of uh, sabotaging, sabotaging her campaign over a strip club. It's just ridiculous. You said you can't wait to move to Georgia next year. <laughs> we full, Anthony. Why you want to move here? We is full. But uh, Isaac Hayes the third was on B103, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, he went live and he was basically saying, uh, you know, the reasons why Felicia Moore lost. Number one, Felicia Moore lost in early voting, 65-35 to Andre Dickens. So before any of the strip club stuff already came out, okay. the voters had decided, right? And what's more problematic is there were three separate instances in this election where Felicia Moore had the opportunity to defend black men, mm. black women, and black lives, and she chose to uh, appeal to her base rather than stand up. There was an ad that darkened Andre Dickens' skin, right? When, when they asked her about it, she said that the ad was in poor taste, and the news said that Andre, Dick that, that, that Andre Dickens' skin was darkened. When they asked her about it, she goes, his skin didn't appear darkened to me. That's mm. one. Two, the Kyle Rittenhouse verdict came out and yeah. she made what looked like a very heartfelt post, mm -hmm. sincere post about she was didn't agree with the verdict, right? Okay. okay, and then her supporters got on her page and called her dummy, stupid, we thought you were with us, we're not voting for you, and she took the post down. Mm -hmm. That's the second time that people mm -hmm. that are controlling your decision making, right, right, are forcing you to do different, uh, act differently than you should. Thirdly, there was a Trump supporter racist bigot that smeared every single mayor mm -hmm. that was ever in Atlanta and said that they were all out for uh, money and they were corrupt, including Maynard Jackson and Andrew Young. Felicia Moore stood next to this man, smiled and took his endorsement. Wow. And then once the video started getting traction, she pulled the video down. And again, she talking about she was unaware of the ad. She she denounced the person, but didn't denounce the ad. So those are three character issues that existed and people chose in early voting not to vote for her way before strip club issues came up. So she had already lost the election in early voting. So I wanna hear about that. Now, when it comes to the strip club situation, again, people are out here trying to defend their businesses, right? And in politics, people are gonna, listen, politics, and campaigning is different than winning and then governing, yeah. right? You, you, you do what you got to do to win an election. Now, at the end of the day, if people decide and that, that run with, fa with false information or innuendo or whatever, she still has a track record of going against the artistic community, the recording studios, the nightlife community. So I don't know where the post came from. When I saw it, I thought it was funny right. and I thought it was hilarious. Right. But again, to to attack people and say that that's why you lost, you lost because the voters of Atlanta chose Andre Dickens over you way before any of this came out and you and it's sour grapes. But it's problematic because you're talking about myself I'm a business owner in the city of Atlanta. T.I. is a product of Atlanta, mm -hmm. right? So you're telling, at the end of the, the video, she's telling celebrities to stay out of politics. I would hope that, what other city do you know that people like Killer Mike, T.I., Lil Baby, Gunna, inject themselves into the community and, and, and encourage people to vote and use their voices? So she's saying, number one, celebrities need to stay out of politics. You had your own celebrities. I'm not going to say who they were, yeah. right. but you had your own celebrities. So your celebrities didn't work for you, but 
uh, the people that supported Andre Dickens that were celebrities work for them. And they're not celebrities, they're citizens. They're they're right. Right. They, right. they live in the city of Atlanta. Yeah. They come from the city of Atlanta. So that's problematic in itself that you're telling celebrities to stay out of politics when you would hope that any person that's a citizen of the city of Atlanta uses their voice yeah. to tell people to get out and vote, especially in a city like Atlanta. A, she lost because she had been photographed with white supremacists. Uh, B, she uh, denounced um, the Kyle uh, Rittenhouse trial and she decided that she would uh, pull what she denounced because all of her white Trump supporters were dragging her. So a lot of the black people was looking like, what the hell? Uh, C, you know, she didn't have the um, the acknowledgement from the Atlanta City Council. So it's like it was so many different reasons why she didn't win. So it, it didn't have anything to do with any of the strip club situations and, and the fact that she was already losing before that rumor came out. And instead of blaming T.I. for the rumor, she should have blamed Media Takeout because, you know, Media Takeout always run with like random stuff, child. Anywho, I digress. Atlanta strip clubs are like an artistry like no other. <laughs> Yeah, but everybody go to the strip club. You're right. You're right. He said, make sure they say Isaac Hayes the third. Okay, Isaac Hayes the third. Yes, because you know his his father is gone. Okay, his father's not here anymore. So you're right, Isaac Hayes the third. Uh, with all that, she should she should have it ran. I mean, you know, she thought she had an opportunity. She should have. My thing is, I just don't like to see people lie on in that situation with Sabrina Peterson, honey. I'm like, I wonder how much Sabrina Peterson got. Is that why she asking for 18 more dollars? Because she got to give Sabrina, Sabrina Peterson the rest of the money. Now